SoapNet at 8 on SoapNet. It's Port Charles. We've got to hurry before someone finds us. It's too late for that, Rachel. How could you bring him? How could you betray me this way? No, don't! Mom! Kevin! Help her! Mom! Kevin! Please don't let her die. Don't miss Port Charles. It's coming up next, right here on SoapNet. Are you sure she can't swim? I'm positive. I'm positive. She's so afraid of the water. Kevin, please. Please. You have to save her. If you could split yourself in two, and I mean physically, not metaphorically, and be your own best friend, with the same thought patterns, the same heart, the same humor. Now, if you could imagine that much, you might begin to understand what that bond is like. What was it that happened that summer that split you up? She came that day, and she found me first. And I pretended to be Ryan, and I went with her. Kevin, your mother took you in the bathroom that day, didn't she? Yes. What did she do to you? She took off my clothes. And she made me get in the tub with her. I was scared, and I didn't want to be Ryan anymore. And I told her that I wasn't. That I wasn't Ryan. <laughs> Look at me, damn it, and see me. See Kevin. See me. And finally, she, she did. Did you tell anyone? Ryan, I told him I knew what Mommy did to him in the bathroom. And I knew it was scary, and I knew it wasn't right, and I knew it wasn't supposed to be that way, and I would tell Dad, and he would make her stop. Did he? Did he? I told him that night. And he said, go to bed now, and we'll discuss this in the morning. And the next day, he took me, and we left this house, and he said that we were never to speak of it again. 
And I didn't see my brother again for 30 years. Hello, Ryan. You stay away from me. You get over there, stay away from me! All right. I'll stay over here. Why are you doing this to me? I just wanted to see you. I don't even know you. I realize it's been a long time. Almost 30 years. Shut up, Kevin! You're not my brother! <coughs> you get away from me! You stay away from me! You're not my brother! You never were! You never were! I wasn't sure you'd see me. Why did you come here? I thought it was time for us to get to know each other. All of a sudden, you have an overpowering desire to know me. It isn't new. I've always wondered what happened to you. Where you were, what you were doing. Well, now you know. So tell me about yourself. My other half. I'm a psychiatrist. You're a shrink? <laughs> that is wonderful. <laughs> and how convenient. Your own private case study. Well, this explains a lot. I didn't look you up to analyze you. Oh, the hell you didn't. Not like you think. We're identical twins. Yes. It fascinates me. You don't fool me, doctor. There was some awfully funky gene swimming around in our pool, and who's to say you didn't get it? Violence is conditioned, not genetic. You hope. And you just had to come here. To make sure you're not me. I want to help you. You want to hurt me. I love you. You hate me. Please, Ryan. Thank you, Kevin. Ryan? Kevin? End of the line. Right, you are. We're not going anywhere, brother mine. I don't think so. <laughs> couldn't do anything about it because we had no power. But our connection was never diminished. It never will be. The whole reason that I was so fascinated with Ryan, the, the reason I, I still think about him, I dream about him, the reason that I felt so connected and I still feel connected to him, Because of I too am responsible for death. You can't do this to me. We're gonna die to save my Grace. Grace. Rachel! Shut up! There's nothing you can do to stop me. Give me! Please! No! No! Oh. Rachel! Rachel! No, oh, no. Not this time. down in my little seat and I fastened my seatbelt and I looked up and right in front of me in the little pouch you know the pouch where they had those bags where in right in that pouch was this paperback book so I took it out and I'm casually thumbing through it 
And what it is about is relaxation techniques, how to access your subconscious. And they had one chapter on hypnosis and how to regress back in time. I can't believe this. You weren't supposed to actually pass out. Stop! Stop! Are you out of your mind? Yeah. You're losing control. You're going to hit... Outside, I got in the car, I even put the key in the ignition. I don't know, I guess somewhere, somehow, I had sense enough to know that I was too drunk to drive. I crawled into the back seat. Grace drove us right into the lake. That's how psychotic she was. What happened? Kevin Collins, if you don't tell me right this minute what you saw, what happened? I am going to start peeling back my skin layer by layer right before your very horrified eyes. You don't know from dreams. I wasn't driving. I didn't kill her. Oh, my God. I tried. I, I tried to oh, save her. Couldn't. No, I couldn't. I couldn't. But I have made some kind of peace with that. It's hard to think about it. But I think it's found its own level now. It doesn't paralyze me anymore. and my sister. You're Grace's sister? Yes, I'm Grace's sister, but I had no idea who Oh, drop were. it. This started the day you came to this town. This started the day you murdered my sister. That was a suicide, and you know You're it. You're a liar. She, she killed herself, Rachel. She killed herself, and she nearly killed me in the process. Well, nearly wasn't nearly close enough. Give it a rest, oh, Rachel. Oh, like hell I will. This is my mother. This is my wedding. Eve. It's not worth it. Let's I wouldn't go. go too near the water if I were you. Oh, please, give it a rest. Hey. He got away with murder. And he's got the nerve to look down his nose at me while I defend Julie. That's it, Rachel. Shut up. You have no right. My sister is dead because of him, and that gives me the right. No, Rachel, it doesn't. You are wrong. What do he you was not know about this? Well, I happen to know everything about this. I know about your sister. She was sick, and she was demented, and dangerously unbalanced. Oh, gee, it looks like it runs in the family. You know what's a miracle here? It's incredible, and he was incredible to get through that relationship alive. And it is amazing that he's standing here willing to trust another human being enough to get the happiness he deserves. You know, it's amazing to me the way you work all the simple-minded oh, women around you. Get the hell out of here, Rachel, and take your batty mother with you. I hope you like our wedding present. Because every time you think of this day, you're gonna think of this. And you with the unforgivable, cowardly things you did to my sister and my mother. I 
darling, please let him save me, please. Let him save me. Devoted to soaps and you. Sorry, could have been the pizza. <laughs> have we met somewhere before? Come on in, Charlie. Um, I'd like you to meet Dr. Kevin Collins. This is Charlie McMillan. Anchovy. 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 What? What is that? We've met before at the Pizza Shack and discovered we're both a part of this very exclusive club, Anchovy Lovers. Oh, okay. Well, you know, if the universe keeps bringing you together like this, there's got to be a reason. You don't know me. And I know you have no reason to trust me. But I do. So you want to try and tell me about it? Okay. The nightmare. It's always the same. I'm in the water. And I can't breathe. And I know I'm gonna drown, so... I try to get to the surface. But I can't. And no matter what I do, I just... I can't. I can't swim. My arms and, and, and legs are numb. I can't feel them. No matter how hard I try, I just can't. If I can do this, if I can go into that water without being afraid, then maybe I can control my nightmares, too. I'm here. I won't let anything bad happen to you. What are you doing here? I came to tell you I know what a liar you are. Charlie, are you all right? Charlie? Charlie McMillan, this is my patient. This is your patient? And I've come here to tell the truth. No, Charlie, you don't have to do that. I told you. I can't let her hurt you with her lies the way she's hurt me. You? My name isn't Charlie McMillan. It's really Livy. Olivia Locke. And she's my mother. Doc, are you... Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Maybe your mother's not Rachel. What if her mother is Grace? I ran a DNA test. Livy is your daughter. Eve. It finally all makes sense. What are you talking Were about? Were you ever going to tell me that Livy is your daughter? She said I'm your daughter. The DNA test that you told Livy about, it may have proved that she was a Collins, but that doesn't mean she's yours. You see, there's one other person who would have the same DNA as Libby. You're not Libby's father. Ryan is. <laughs> I do care about her. And it doesn't matter whether I'm her father or her uncle. If I walk away from her now, I'll never have the chance to go back again. So the only hope I have is to go to her and tell her the truth and just hope that she can accept it. And me. It's over, and Livy wants nothing to do with you. Well, she might change her mind when I tell her the truth. Oh, and you would do that. You would tell her that her real father is a homicidal maniac. But you can't prove that Ryan's your father. You can't prove he's not. Maybe not. But as you so correctly pointed out, my DNA is identical to his. And either way, that means I'm more connected to Livy than anyone else alive. And it's way past time she knew. You really think you're going to be able to stop me? You'd have to kill me first. And I don't believe even you're capable of that. in your
your power, Doc. It wasn't. And you grew up to try and fix it, don't you see? You grew up to help people. That's what you've been doing with your pain. You've been turning it into something positive. I bet you're really a great father. Well, not yet. But someday. I hope so. <laughs> is okay i will live up to every promise that i made to him kevin is in trouble i can feel it all the way down to my toes Mom! Kevin! if you thought raising kids was difficult just wait till you see what erica kane has to deal with today all My Children is coming up next, right here on SoapNet, devoted to soaps and you. You never know who you'll bump into on All My Children. 